Hello everyone. Um, playing a bit of Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. It's Friday night here in London. Um, can't really sleep that much. Uh, feel a bit tired. I, I do feel a bit tired, but I can't really sleep. Um, yeah, it's not that late. It's a bit late. It's gone past past nine. I think it's even gone past ten now. But. Um, can't really sleep at the moment so um, and I wanted to try out a bit of Assassin's Creed so I'm going to be playing playing that now I hope you're doing it well I hope you're doing well I uh, hope you've had a good day a uh, blessed day as well in Jesus name um, yeah I don't, I don't know if this is, I don't think I've joined the club on U, the Ubisoft club so let me just read this quickly, as a Ubisoft club member you are eligible to get exclusive content for your adventure in Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations, go to the Ubisoft club to unlock the Palazzo Medici Templar layer in Assassin's Creed 2 and see all the content available to you. Oh ok. Um, I'm not sure if I am a member, I think I am actually, but uh, I can do that later. So yeah. Um, I've actually completed pr uh, all the Assassin's Creed except um, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which was such an awful game. Um, you know, because it was 2D or whatever, or it was an indie game or whatever. Uh, it was just an awful game. Um, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, which is basically probably one of the worst Assassin's Creed, in my opinion, that's ever been made. Um, it's just such a bad game, I think, you know. I've got it as well, but I've deleted it. <coughs> and I don't think I'll be installing it again anytime soon. Um, I think it's probably the worst, one of the worst Assassin's Creed games um, from so many different points of view, you know. Um, uh, um, you know, for starters, it's it's very anti-Christian as well. It's it's highly anti-Christian. Like, um, for example, the main character I Ivor says things like, when he when he does raids because he's a Viking, and he's fighting the Anglo-Saxons, and um, <coughs> when he does raids, he says things like, um, kill Christ and burn his house. <laughs> I know it's shocking and uh, I couldn't believe it when I heard things like that so ever since then my mood towards Assassin's Creed games have been quite um, bad you know so I haven't I haven't really enjoyed playing them that much um, because they're so anti-Christian even in Assassin's Creed 1 the first Assassin's Creed game that came out um, that was pretty anti-Christian as well um, it bashes the Bible calling it um, just a book or just an ignorant book or whatever a fairy tale or whatever you know so um, I'm kind of I'm kind of annoyed of that um, but having said that the, the the other Assassin's Creed like Assassin's Creed 2 which I've just completed and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood um, and Assassin's Creed Revelations these games are actually quite decent um, and yeah the yeah they're, you know, they focus on the main character Ezio, which is he he he's quite attractive to, he's quite a very good protagonist in the game, um, and um, yeah, uh, he he's got a lot of charisma as well, um, and he's Italian and and it, and it's quite it's, he makes Ita Ital he makes Italians look cool, <laughs> uh, so um, he makes Italy look cool. So I think in that way you know it, it's kind of good this game um, um, but it still has its problems you know like it's fierce philosoph f philosophical problems um, in my opinion I still don't really agree with it that much the whole Assassin's Creed Brotherhood the, their creed for example which is nothing is true everything is permitted or everything is true nothing's nothing sh or nothing is true everything is permitted rather yeah something like that and I, I don't really agree with that, you know, like it's a very 
it sounds very um very atheistic you know and 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 uh evolutionary you know and i don't agree with evolution um i i believe that god created the universe and the world etc so um yeah these games you just got to slug through them really um i've you know i've got to the age now i'm 30 now and i'm still playing games and sounds kind of sad but um i've kind of got to the age now where i am when it when i'm playing these games um when i used to play them when i was younger um they seem so exciting to me you know like everything seems so exciting you know going around running around jumping across rooftops etc killing people etc and that seemed quite exciting and addi and addictive at, at one time but now as you get older you just now you're just trying to figure out what 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 is what isn't there you know like and what isn't there in the game is sometimes the problem because they don't include the good things they always include in bad things in in games nowadays and it's kind of sad you know because you, it, the gaming industry is the second it's probably one of the biggest um meet um um entertainment history industries um ever in the world you know so nowadays it is anyway and it's sad how these the game designers and game developers or whatever um they don't know how to make good good um stories they don't know how to make good good content good entertainment you know uh, it just seems to be like a grind a constant grind with every game nowadays and uh you know like once you've played it once like you know you you're not really interested in it again you know so the replay factors are gone and you're just left to do menial tasks like go fetch this or go fetch that and you know you're supposed to be like a superhero or whatever or an assassin or a warrior and they're telling you to do things like that you know it just seems very stupid so it's kind of pathetic you know um but it's it's the only thing really to play at the moment you know um it's the only thing to do at the moment um so yeah i mean and this is these are old games as well assassin's creed and they're probably the best ones you know assassin's creed brotherhood and revelations and assassin's creed 2 yeah these are probably the best assassin's creed that has ever been made the graphics aren't that great of course but um story wise they're probably the best like you really do get connected to Ezio Alvitore um the main character um so yeah um and that's that's what I am going to be playing now um I'm on Brotherhood at the moment so yeah on Brotherhood at the moment Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs. Yeah. So it is a fictionist game, obviously, you know, and they do highlight that, <laughs> which is a good thing. It's good that they put that at the start of their game, <laughs> otherwise some people would go crazy with this kind of thing. <laughs> but, you know, you just play as an assassin, basically, you know. And, when, and the newer games, the new Assassin's Creed games like Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and um, Valhalla, that emphasizes more as a warrior, you know, the fighting mechanics are different um, than this one, than the older games, so yeah. Um, yeah, I like this game. I 
don't know why people follow me around in this g in in this game, yeah. I'm supposed to be a discreet assassin. You know. And I do love the free running on it as well. The climbing. I speak to Machiavelli. Did you liberate your money from our friend? Let me see if I can um put some subtitles on. Subtitles, yeah. I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us. But everyone's we'll pretty much played Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? Yeah. He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. I have completed these games um, a few times actually. Um, Assassin's Creed 2, I've completed 100%. I've, I've completed everything on that game um, on the PS3 anyway, but not on the PS4. Um, and uh, Brotherhood, I this one, I haven't completed everything. I don't think, but I did complete quite a lot. Uh, I'm not really interested in doing every single Look thing in here, masquerading as but I will. The um, is very clever I am interested in business. the story again. It fools your friends, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely describe the reality of Roma today, but all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. But last time, scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonate me, signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Okay, um... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the permit! Code is wrong, this letter. I'm not going to read that. new emails not gonna bother doing that either um, not interested in reading and discovering everything in this game like I said uh, I'm just gonna I'm just going to um, do the main storyline do the main quests There's a few things that I'll probably need to do, like like um, upgrade a few things, but that's it really. Yeah, I think I remember this bit as well. Um, these wolf guys start attacking me. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta fight all of them. I still remember this bit after years, you know. Ah, 
Need to get used to the fighting as well. Whoops. Oh yeah, he has a gun as well. I'm like wolves. Where Funny. these murderers come from? They must have come from in here. don't really like um, doing these kind of air videos because they feel like puzzles you know climbing puzzles <laughs> climbing and jumping puzzles and I hate puzzles man Good at this. Oh, my God, what's going on? to summer now um, and I think it's I don't know what day it is today but we're in May and uh, it's kind of getting hot at the moment um, but the weather's kind of been a bit strange like uh, it's been raining quite a lot and, and cloudy but now today it's been quite um, humid a bit stuffy as well and a bit a little bit hot so I think we're approaching summer finally I was when you, the funny thing is when you're in winter you're looking so forward to summer but when it gets there you, you're then looking for winter again <laughs> looking forward to winter again um, so yeah you can never be too hot or too cold. So yeah, you can never be too. You can't. You can never be lukewarm. You're either hot or too cold. Too hot or too cold. So yeah, that's other ways there is really. You know, I believe God is in control of the weather. So I should. So I shouldn't really complain about the weather too much. Um, 
times uh, I've been feeling quite, quite, um, what's the word, a bit, I don't want to say fat, but I've been feeling, yeah, I have been feeling quite fat recently, because I have been eating quite a lot, um, in the last, um, three or four days now, and I think I've put on a bit of weight as well, um, I lost a lot of weight um, about a week ago but now um, I've actually put it back on again which is a bit annoying but I'm that kind of person when I go to go to sleep and I wake up um, in the morning uh, I lose a lot of weight um, um, but then I eat quite a lot as well um, during the day well these last couple of days I've been eating quite a lot I don't really eat a lot during the day every day um, my main diet is, you know I normally just have one meal a day but recently the last couple last two or three days I've been eating like twice a day um, and it's been been quite stressful to be quite honest because I've put on quite a lot of weight you know I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm a fat person um, some people said that said that um, I said things like hey big man stuff like that to me and I, I'm thinking hey listen one one minute you know I, I'm, I'm not really a, a big person <laughs> you know if I was really fat I'll be way out there but I'm not I'm not really a fat person in my in my opinion you know but some people are just so ignorant um, you know even though you're like medium or even lost a lot of weight they'll still call you big man you know as a cool cool thing to say and I just find it really quite disgusting really because they don't look at themselves in the mirror uh, <laughs> yeah, I never really judge people on their looks. Um, yeah, some people can be so judgmental, you know. Think that they're the bee's knees. Think that they're everything. When they're really nothing. You know, but Jesus said things like that. You know, he said that in the last days men will be lovers of themselves um, pleasure seekers and they'll be practicing all kinds of evil etc you know so it's not surprising um, I'm trying to not be like that you know Sadly, people do judge on first appearances. Um, you know, first impressions are last impressions, as they say, but it shouldn't really be like that, you know, because there's so much more going on in a person's life than their looks. And that's what interested me more than their actual physical appearance. Yeah, but when it gets um, quite late, I do kind of get a bit tired quickly and I get a bit of a headache, um, a bit fuzzy, because um, basically I get exhausted throughout the whole day and playing games can be quite exhausting because you're so mentally in tune with it. And you have to be really because it requires a lot of um, concentration 
But yeah. Sadly, it's like that. They give you these little synchronization challenges, which is quite annoying. Oh, I remember this bit as well. That wasn't very nice. I can get back up here. I'm not going to bother with that chest. Can't, can't really remember how I got up there. this way. Nope. Yeah, I can't remember how I got, got up there. Yeah, I mean, because it's quite late, I'm not really in a chatty mood at the moment, but I'm trying to think of what to say. That could help if I fall. live stream as well on the PS4. I don't really get many viewers so I don't even think I get any viewers to be quite honest. So yeah I think YouTube uploads are probably better. Up if I fall. 
He's a good climber though, isn't he? Tomatoes in the chest box. More tomatoes. And more. Kind of silly, really. Tomatoes in the chest box. I'm not going to bother reading this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to um, stay for too long on this. Um, because the missions are quite long. Just giving you guys a feel for the game. People, you guys probably played it a lot anyway. Played it before anyway, but the followers um, of Romulus, yeah. this band of false pagans, has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. False I believe pagans. the Borgia are supporting them. Arms but of the church. Scarce. That is why the letter is well, so. Important. If they're driving people to the arms of the church, Here isn't that a good thing? I hope you can break a cipher. You know, false Absolutely. pagans, as if he this one was he um, idolizes real pagans. Them using a code sheet. You know, the story Without is just ridiculous. You know, nothing. sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. You know, it, it's just honest. pathetic. You said we had allies these, in the city. These so-called assassins are actually them. pagan themselves. Follow me. You know, and they think they're doing a greater good or whatever. They're just killing people. You know, it's it's not good. It's not doing humanity any good or justice at all. They could have thought up something else, and they're against the Templars. You know, like which is you know ridiculous. You know, um, so it's so anti-Christian, really. And the game has been like that f from the beginning all the way up to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I just find it really pathetic and so sinful, you know. But sadly, that's the way games are going now. We recently began traveling through the tunnel to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Yeah, this game ain't really too inspiring, but I, I, I just thought that um, playing playing um, this or playing the free running and jumping around was kind of cool. That's what I liked about Assassin's Creed, but. Yeah, it's kind of got a stale taste now. Ben trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apollabidi? 
How could we have lost the apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? See, si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna see where this leads to, and then I'm gonna stop um, recording. So as you can see I've got um, three objectives to go to at the moment and uh, they're going to take quite long so I'm going to leave it right there. I know I haven't really done much in, it, in, in the game but yeah. there guys anyway I hope you have a good day wherever you are um, and um, as I say most of my videos um, you know stay faithful to the Lord Jesus is Lord and um, trust in God with all your heart mind soul and strength and um, yeah Alright guys, take care. God bless. Bye.